uh, Linehart, would you like to give us a rundown of uh, the reigning champion Prussian Prince? It um, would be setup? my pleasure. He's just spreading them out there. So let's have a quickie, quick look. He has got his front rank is made up of a mixture of the Rose Spears. Uh, he's got Numidian, um, yeah, Numidian Spearmen. I think he's got three units. No, he's got more than that. I'm trying to count the number he's got along the front. It looks like he's got six units of the Rosso Spears, and then he's got six of the Numidian Spearmen as well. I think. No, less than that in the middle. Five? Five. Five of those, and then he's got some Camel Archers that he's placing on his right, and some Skirmisher Cavalry that's going up on the left of his line. So no infantry skirmishers. And then at the back, he's got... His cavalry. How many of those has he got? He's got five. Five of the cavalry, including his general. So, pretty pretty mobile force with a ton of infantry to support them. Yeah, and his opposite number. Um, do you want to give a rundown on his army setup, uh, JD? JD? Of course. <laughs> uh, so, Gerudo Zharba. He is playing with Bactra in this battle on the right flank. He's got two units of horse archers mirrored on the left flank as well. Total of four skirmish units on horse. He has five foot skirmishers, two of them are eastern slingers and the other three are also eastern slingers. Uh, wow, what was that word? <laughs> five eastern slingers overall, two thorough spears at the front. He's got a general elephant. Now this is very, very risky from Harba, but uh, we'll see how it plays out for him. Three units of Hellenic cataphracts on the left of his general. Three units of Hellenic Cataphracts on the right of his general. Pretty basic Bactrian army, but the Prussian Prince! Yeah. Medium infantry spam! This is pretty unexpected play here. To see how he uses that sort of mass of infantry. And he's keeping, you know, the majority of his cavalry behind his infantry as well. This is all the most like they're about to start running through his line. Uh, in, uh, in the last series, we had. Um... Indian war elephant being used as a general was uh, was done by Panda Warrior. So, is this a, a standard tactic with uh, with Bactria? It's a uh, it's a tactic that kind of at the moment the way the game is now it's a tactic that's kind of like okay as long as I don't miss micro my general too badly he's pretty much going to be alive and safe for the entire battle. Uh, the Prussian prince doesn't really have. I mean, any solutions to kill the general for uh, Harba here? I mean, he, he has some skirmishers on the flanks. Um, but we'll see. See, he's going in with his camel archers. Look at the camel archers. They're trying to get a sniping shot on uh, Harba's general. A little bit too late. He's going to fall back, getting shot by the slingers. He couldn't get that opportunity. You saw there was a very small window there for that camel archer to get in there, sneak a shot. Just simply couldn't do he it. He just took a few casualties in response to that as well. So, uh... Looks like on both wings here, he's going to be taking a bit of punishment from just skirmishing cavalry. And he's supporting his cavalry really well with the, with his infantry and sort of like using them as the screen while he, he forms up and moves up his cavalry. But, I mean, Harbour's already got kind of him... He's trying to flank him slightly, or at least now Harbour's pulling back to draw Prussian Prince in. And he's sending in his general up against those horse archers over on the left. And over on the right, he's still got those horse archers just sort of slowly tracking... Prussian Prince's uh, spears over on that side. And it looks like he's going in for another another sniping shot with those camel archers uh, up against the elephants. It Donovan looks like he just here. threw his uh, skirmishing cavalry into a, a little attack here on the Hellenic cavalry. What, what, what was the reason Whoa, for that? Did they're gone. He they didn't want them. He didn't want he didn't want the Hellenic cataphracts to get a clean charge against his Ptolemaic cav, because Ptolemaic cav will lose to Hellenic cataphracts in a frontal charge. And I think he's not going to manage to do that. Here comes the charge. Yeah, those Hellenic Cataphracts got a pretty good charge. They're getting picked off and they seemingly got caught completely out of formation, quite broken up, so they're able to filter through charge in. He's trying to bring in his spears now, but already one of his uh, Dolomatic Cavalry, they're going. Look at the elephants coming in on the flank here. I knew you would mention the elephants. Oh, the elephants, elephants get countercharged. <laughs> elephants! Elephants! <laughs> <laughs> Say it. The Imba elephants. Look how quickly that Ptolemaic cab is just gonna die yeah, to that elephant. Gone. But that elephant is gonna lose so much hit points from that charge. And he's got the spears and going in. He's got two units of spears being. Uh, Harbour sending in his own 
spears. It's it's a spear mess in there. The general's trying to pull out. Hasn't lost an elephant yet. Keep an eye out though on the left side of the Prussian prince's army. His general is fighting with two units of Thero spears against one Hellenic cataphract with 13 melee and he still lives. That's huge for the Prussian wow. prince. Those elephants. This but look at this. Exchange. It was going on very early on. It's just, it just seems to have got a spearman battle now going in there. And all of his uh, cataphracts have really just been tied up here. Yeah. I think it's GG for Harba here. Um, the Prussian prince let his left flank get engaged way too early and now his medium spear infantry aren't really going to be able to do much yeah. on their own look they're being tailed by uh they're being tailed oh. by this uh indian war elf infantry and there you go oh, wow That's it. that was quick let's not actually say who won that so i i am assuming uh prussian prince has tapped out harba there. yeah yeah, yeah, Harba, yeah, Harba victory. swept that battle. Well, I mean, he lost victory. only 162, whereas Prussian Prince, you know, 799 losses. Ouch. Very, very peculiar and, I mean, army build. Prussian Prince for... there with, with all those spears, you know, he, he did outnumber them. 1,800 versus 1,300, but Harba deployed very effectively, and, you know, we saw him smashing Prussian Prince. So, for Prussian think, Prince's point of view, though, what, what exactly went wrong? I think what he went for was a medium infantry heavy build with Egypt that mainly goes to counter the kind of playstyle that you've seen that you see in uh, in Harba's Bactrian army here. Lots of foot skirmishers, lots of horse skirmishers. Those guys can fire all they want at twelve units of cheap spearmen uh, with those big shields, and that's going to be great for the Prussian Prince, but. What he did wrong was he let his left flank get isolated from his entire line. He had everything in one line. He didn't support his left flank well enough. His left flank got hit. He tried to be a little bit aggressive with his cap, but he couldn't pull it off. And the Hellenic Cataphracts managed to pull away, get right in there, and get a strong charge. Decimate the, the cavalry of the Prussian Prince. Once the cav was gone, you saw how the elephants were free to come into the middle. And that's when the big spear blob uh, commenced. But with the elephants nearby, we all know yeah. how that'll end. And it was already that, you know, when Prussian Prince started losing that on the, the left flank, he committed, you know, pretty much all of his spears then to start pulling over to the middle, which is when, when the elephants came in. And that spear blob, mm -hmm. but, you know, it only took one to start going. And, you know, Harbour was able to pull round completely on the right. And those, those spears were stuffed.